hello guys now in this video we are going to look at how to create a, create domains in ArcGIS Pro now domains are basically drop down fields so in most cases when you go to the field to do data collection then you may have some of the fields where you may want to provide options for users or for data collectors to select from just to reduce the level of error entries and then so on so we are going to see how we can create domains or drop downs in our geo database on our feature classes so now here we have um, our school geo database from um, our previous uh, video now in the previous video i asked you guys to um, add to the feature classes which had, we had already created. So I added footpaths, other facilities, and then trees to the existing feature classes. So you can go ahead and then do the same. Okay, so now make sure you bring all your feature classes into your table of contents. So by simply selecting, clicking, and then dragging it onto the map and then your feature class is added to your layers. So I already have classrooms, so I remove the duplicate. So now the next thing that I'm going to do is to actually create my domains. Now you create domains in GeoDatabases. So I'll right click my GeoDatabase, I'll point to new, and then, sorry, I'll right click my GeoDatabase then I'll point to domains and then I'll click on edit domains. Domain, sorry. Now, um, the domain window pop ups. Now you can see that I already have a domain that I created. Okay. So, I mean, what happens is that when you add a domain to, once you set, you, you start domains in um, ArcGIS Pro on your feature class. You can't delete all the domains. You definitely need to have one domain existing. Okay, that's just for, for that. So basically, this is what I do. You specify the domain name as I have done. And then you specify the test field, the field type, which in my case is test. And then you can specify the domain type, which is um, the coded value domain. So let me go through the same process again. So I'll, I'll create here condition and then I can add a description. So notice that it has condition one. So I'll change this to condition one so that this will be condition. Then I can say here condition of feature. And then this will remain test then i will select coded value so now range domains are domains range, dom range domain basically is done on numbers where you have a, a minimum and then a maximum number so age range where you have let's say 5 and then uh, 20 or 5 and 15 18 and 60 and there you know there about okay so now then i would have to now specify my domain values okay so the first here i'll write good now for practice what i normally do is that i specify the same name for the code and then the same name for the description but other people will do otherwise maybe have like one for the code and then the description for good but i would always use the same for the name for the code and then the description okay then so good then i would have bad I would have damage. Okay, so then so I can now delete my first domain. Okay, so it cancels this out. So it's deleted the first domain. Good. So now I can select my new domain, which is condition. Okay, so which is condition. Okay, so there you go. Now, the next domain I'll create will be other, feed, other facility type. So, for other facilities, 
I want to provide options for facilities such as recreational, administrative, and then so on. So when the person creates any other facility, then he should be able to indicate which facility type that is. So of course, you can have domain for any kind of data that you want. Depends on the kind of mapping that you are doing. So I'll have other facility type. Other facility type. Okay. Then for other facility type, it will also be test and then coded domain. Then I can enter the domain and then the description. So I would have recreational. So I can just copy and then I'll paste in the description. Sorry, recreational. Okay, so I can have residential. Have residential. Can copy, and then I can have administrative. Administrative. Good. Uh, so I have these two domains, condition and then facility type. I think this should be all for now. Let me delete this. This should be all for now. So I can just save. So I encourage you guys to go ahead and then create additional domains for all your data. So it saves and then now it deletes, takes away the first domain that I created. Good. So now the next thing I'm going to do is to now assign this domain to the various fields okay so i'll start with utility post so i'll right click it and go to attribute table so i will right click on any of the fields field heads and then i'll go to fields good so now there is a domain option here for the field view okay for utility post so what I would do is that I would come to condition. This is where I can highlight it and then I'll come under the domain and then I should now see my domain. So I can select condition and then I can save. Now to make the work very easy, instead of opening another layer, I can just select it directly from here under that. Okay, so I don't have it. So I think I'll have to to open the attribute table for another layer and then I'll do the same thing right click on any of the field go to fields then I'll have the field view and then I can go to condition and then select domain now you can go ahead and then do for the others okay so you can go ahead and do for the others so you have domain for condition and don't forget to save your domains or your assignments okay so you can go ahead and then do for footpaths um right click on any of the fields sorry not calculate field right oh. so i'll right click on let me close this i'll right click on any of the fields okay so field and takes me to the field view and then i can select condition then other facilities attributes right click on any of the fields and then i'll go to now for other facilities i have two domains so one is type type of facility so for the domain i'll select other facility type and then condition our select condition and then um yeah so i'll save it and then i'll do lastly for classrooms so right click go to attribute table and then right click on any of the fields go to fields 
and then I can select condition domain for condition good so now I've been able to assign domains to all the necessary for that required domains now domains one thing that you have learned that is domains are reusable so I can create one domain and then use it out for my other fields so guys let me see my way so guys it's all that um, I wanted to show you guys about domains so I hope you can use it in your next I mean GIS project so I encourage you to join me in the next video where we talk about editing digitizing and then editing so Thanks for being part and then see you again. Bye.